Michelle Long, and I'm an Advanced Certified QuickBooks Pro Advisor, and I'm also a National Trainer for Intuit. As a National Trainer, I got to go around last fall and conduct seminars and meet a lot of great accounting professionals, and I also heard a lot of frustrations about the Advanced Certification Test. People said how difficult it was, how they were spending 50 hours to pass the test, so I was really scared. I was afraid to take it because I have been Advanced Certified for two years, but this is the first time that I've had to take the Advanced Certification Test. So I finally took the test, and I'm really glad to say that I did pass it, and it wasn't nearly as bad as everybody had led me to believe. I know it is a difficult test. There's no doubt about that. It is an advanced certification. It is a challenge, but it's also very passable. But I also had the benefit of hearing from other people some of the tips and techniques that they used to take the test and how it helped them to pass. So I wanted to share some of the tips and techniques with you that will help make the the taking of the advanced certification test and earning your certification a little quicker and easier process for you. One of the things you want to do obviously is you need to watch the webinars that are provided and you also want to download the PDF files that come with those webinars and as you're going through the webinars and the PDFs it's really helpful to have those test questions with you. So print out the test questions before you get started on the webinars and the PDFs. Now you can't just do a print screen on these test questions or you can't just print them, you have to do a print screen. So you need to do a control print screen and save that to Word or else you need to use a Snagit or some kind of third party program to help you do screen capture. Snagit is one that's good, but Jing has some available and there's some other ones out there as well. But you'll want to do a screen capture or a print screen, save each one to a different page in Word so that you're able to print out all 28 test questions. Then what you'll want to do, don't staple them or bind them or anything because you'll want to sort them. At the top of each question it will tell you what category it is. For example, this one's on troubleshooting. There's also some questions on payroll. There's questions on job costing. So there's six different categories of questions. Go through the questions and group them by category. So put all your job costing questions together. So as you're going through the webinar on job costing, the webinar and the PDF and you have those job costing questions with you so that you're working on the certification test as you're doing the webinars and the PDFs. That clues you into what to pay attention to in the webinars or what to read in the PDFs and it's going to help make you much more efficient. Another thing that you want to make sure you do is document your answers. I actually went through and did the whole test on paper and wrote my answers down on paper before I went and entered it on the screen. Once you've entered it on the screen, go ahead and again do a print screen and take a picture of what you've entered just in case you entered something on the wrong line or something. It's going to help you later after you submit your test, you'll see I got three out of five correct on the troubleshooting area or you got four out of five on job costing. Then you're able to go back in and look at those and see which ones you think you might have missed. So as you're going through the test, if you're not sure about something, put a little question mark next to it that says not sure, could be this, or did I need to do that, so that you're able to go back and look at those questions that you weren't sure of. Another thing to keep in mind is focus on the topic at hand. If the question deals with, say, the items list, just focus on the items list. These are sample data files. These aren't perfect. So if you're working on a question about the items list, you don't need to go look at the rest of the file and see if the, the uh, customer was set up correctly or does the vendor have the right terms. Just focus on the items list. These questions aren't overly difficult if you'll just focus on what's being asked and don't get too hard and don't make it more difficult than it is. Because it really, in my opinion, it really was not that bad. So don't overthink the question. Focus on the topic at hand. Make sure that you print out these PDF questions or print out these questions to use as you go through the PDF and through the webinars and you too can pass the advanced certification test without spending hours and hours on it. So good luck and I hope you become an advanced certified pro advisor. Thanks.